Riverdale, y'all. Riverdale. Ugh. Like the show is. Uh, 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 uh. another video of mine mine and today we're gonna to be talking about Riverdale I don't know what that was but we're gonna be talking about Riverdale and if you haven't connected the dots yet dot dot connect if you haven't connected, <laughs> you haven't connected the dots yet in my last video I said I would be talking about a show that I regret watching connect the dots it's Riverdale <laughs> okay so Riverdale Let's get right into it. Let's cut to the chase with Riverdale and why I said I regret watching it. Okay, Riverdale is about the Archie comics. It's about Archie Andrews, Veronica Lodge, Betty Cooper, and Jughead Jones. Season 1 of Riverdale starts out really great. It's where I feel like season 1 it was one of their good seasons. It starts out strong because it focuses on um, a murder and so Betty and her friends um, are trying to figure out who killed this person. So, um, Cheryl's twin brother, Jason Blossom, he's the one who was murdered and he was found, his body was found in Sweetwater River. Betty and her friends are trying to figure out who killed, um, Jason and why because Jason was such a wholesome boy. He was the town fave. He was the quarterback. Like, who would want to kill the quarterback? Like, who would want to kill the quarterback? Like, really? Like, why would you want to do that? Like, that's just so foul. <laughs> So the entire season focuses on um, who kills Jason and why they did that, you know? And so it turns out to be, spoiler alert y'all, if you're wanting to watch it, just know I'm about to um, blow a huge, well, throw a huge bomb in this. Jason's father kills him. Yep, his father kills his own son. Like, father, son, father gets knife. Ah, ah, ah. No, <laughs> that's not how he dies, but he does kill his son. And so FP, Jughead's father, goes on ahead and does the man's dirty work by um, covering up the body. Like, what? And Veronica's no girl in town, so she's trying to get adjusted to her new friends or whatever. And Archie's just Archie. Now he's taking the mantle of Jason Blossom. Now he's becoming the quarterback and the all around football guy and the fan faves or whatever. So the, the season was good overall, the whole twist with the father killing his own son, that was a huge twist, and FP helping him do it, which is Jughead's father, and so Jughead's father goes to jail because of that, and Jason Blossom's father kills himself, gets a rope, ties it around his neck, and kills himself. So the town moves on from that, well at the end of season one, a, a new character comes in the black hood and shoots Archie's father with season two we start with that and we just, we're just like who the heck is the black hood you know like who would do such a thing to Fred Andrews because everybody loves Fred Andrews Archie decides to learn how to fight so he could protect his father and avoid things like that happening or whatever the black hood decides to take it upon himself to kill to try to ki to kill more people he kills a teacher that had an affair with student with the student aka Ar and um archie and she goes on ahead and has an affair with ben this character that's really like a you think he's dead but he's actually not dead repeatedly so many times like he pops up so many times it's crazy but yeah she um she has an affair with students so he's killing people that have done foul things to ever in riverdale so he goes on ahead and kills the teacher kills a student kills another student like he just keeps killing people that he thinks are bad for riverdale he's trying to cleanse the town of them Long story short, the Black Hood is Betty's father. He is the serial killer. And so he um, he tells Betty, he's like, the reason why I started doing it is because of your speech. Some speech that she made in high school. Like, are you for real? Like, why would you do that? Like, well, like you got to be on some level of psycho psychotic to think, hey, my daughter's speech is going to lead me to murder. Like, I just not get that whatsoever. But it was a good season all around because I like the fact that it was a serial killer. So just like, yeah, interesting, let's see how this is gonna go. And at the end it was one of the main characters, father. Again with the fathers, like what is with the fathers? Like, 
Like, what is with the fathers? I'm not getting that. First it was Jason's father kills him. And then Betty's father is a serial killer. Okay. The first two seasons was really good. Season three, y'all. Season three, Riverdale. Season three, y'all. Season three. I wrote down WTF exclamation point mark or whatever. Oh, WTF for real. Oh my gosh. It's a whole lot of nonsense. That's what I put on my thing. A whole lot of nonsense. There's three villains in this season. Griffins and Gargoyle. Mm -hmm. Hiram Lodge, which is Veronica's father and the farm so griffin griffins and gargoyle is a game a game that that people decided to let rule their lives so in the game people i don't even know how you explain the game but the main goal was to ascend you drink a chalice you pick a chalice and you drink it if it's not poison you don't die if it's poison you're dead but the entire town for some freaking re reason decided to play this game and act like it was the rule of law which I didn't get like I was just I was so confused like I was so confused like I'm telling you like season three leaves you in a level of confusion like you're you're like a fly trying to get out of a window seems like just yesterday we rented a room to that fly that wants to leave but can't figure it out Okay, now where now? No, right it's, there. It's, I'm having right, some trouble here. It's right uh, there. It's right in front of you. Oh, okay, no, I, I can hear you. Volume's not a problem. I'm just not quite seeing okay. what you're referring then to. Then fly, fly out the uh, window. Up here, just, maybe? No. Is it, is it, uh, no, that's left. not it. That's just more no. wall. How many eyes do you have? Oh, uh, huh? well, how many? Just two, same number as you, but yeah, like, you know, I'm, I'm just, just go. I'm not oh getting my God, it. Whatever it is you're driving at, I'm just apparently not getting it. You're right I'm just going to go back upstairs. That's how confused you are on season three of Riverdale. Like, I don't know who was writing this season, but it just, it just wasn't, it was, it just wasn't right, man. It wasn't right whatsoever. And so Hiram, Veronica's father, decides to frame Archie for murder. And so Archie goes to trial for the murder. And so at the end of the trial, it was a hung jury. Nobody could decide if Archie did commit this heinous crime. Long story short, well, yeah, long story short, Har Archie decided to plead guilty. For something he knew he didn't do. Something that everyone knew he didn't do. Even the jury was like, we're not even sure if he did it, kid. But no, the kid was like, I did it. Why? Like, it was a hung jury. He literally could have gone home that day and called it a day. Um, the farm, Betty's mom and sister becomes joins the farm and becomes little cult members and they let this guy control them and saying he's a good guy and the farm doesn't judge you blah 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 a basic basic cult things and it's so sad because i understand that part but the the other things i just couldn't get i don't understand how you could let a game like griffins at Gar Gar gargoyle control you it's like me saying i'm playing monopoly with my friends and um i I have the most estates and I win the game and then I'm like I go out in the real, real world and start telling people I have 10, 000, 10 estates because I won it and like if you see right here is my estate or whatever when in reality no I don't have all these estates I literally just want a card off of a game but no people decide to play this game bro like for real put real poison in the chalices like I didn't get like why like wh why it's still a huge question mark for me on how these people would let this game rule them and kill them. Like, because the game did kill hella people. It started off with um, Dylan Doyley and his friend Ben. The game kills them. Like, and it's not even like the game kills them. They killed themselves, honestly, because they poisoned themselves. They drank the drink that was poisoned. They chose to drink the drink. And, like, I just did not get that. So the whole season three was just like, what is going on and why is it going on? Because it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And like, as a viewer, I just hated being so confused. Like, it was just so many things going on. Like, just too many things. Like, And then season four, which is, we're, we're currently in season four. We're in the second half of season four. And it's, so, it starts out with Jughead going missing. Presumably dead. I think he's actually dead. But yeah. Archie creates a center for kids because after his father dies, it's just like, he, I guess, yeah, he he just buries himself in that. And um, Jughead starts in a new school. Like, season four, they do, an, they do a past and present. And so Jughead in the present, well, in the past, Jughead starts on, in a new school. 
and Cheryl and Ver Veronica team up to make whiskey to beat her father at his own game again. The whole thing, Veronica and her father do do like a little tit for tat thing. They go back and forth with each other and just like, spare me please, I don't need this. So but the season four, the verdict is still, the verdict is still out on it because like, they're just in the second half of the season. But the first half of the season was, uh, it wasn't that great either honestly, but yeah. That's that on Riverdale, and so if you're like, if you're like me, like I don't like you don't need to listen to my opinion on it. Watch it. I'm not stopping you from watching it, you know. But like, if you're like me, I like to see things for myself. I like to be the judge of judge of things. I like the way I'm Superman and Batman the movie. I mean Superman versus Batman versus Superman or whatever the movie is. Um, people are like, it's a horrible movie. Don't watch it. Don't waste your time with it. Blah blah blah. But I decided to take it upon myself to watch it because I like to see for myself. Like, it wasn't that great of a movie, but it wasn't that bad of a movie either, you know? It had, it had its little perks in it. So, if you want to be the judge of your if Riverdale, go on ahead, watch it. But I'm telling you, I, I already wasted four years. And I ain't getting four years back either. I already wasted four years watching Riverdale. But, hey, if you want to watch, like, look. It's the first two seasons, they get you, they, they catch you, they're like, tag, you're it, like, they caught you, like, they catch, they catch you with season one and season two, but then season three and then season four, it's just like, they should have just stopped, I feel like, you stop there, stop at season two, it was, it was a good run, you know, but like, you lose your, I, that's the things with shows, they always lose their momentum, I, I just don't know why that is. But hey, you know who what show has and lost his momentum? <laughs> the Flash. Arrow. Well, Arrow, I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. Arrow did kind of lose his momentum, but I ain't gonna speak on it because Arrow's dead. <laughs> Rest in peace, Oliver Queen. <laughs> Wrong show. I'm not, let, me not, let me not talk about Arrow on Riverdale. So we're talking about Riverdale today. But I will later on be talking about those shows because I love They're so dear to my heart. <clears throat> Thanks for viewing my video today and um like and sus like and subscribe but yeah and then hit the little bell icon ding 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 to get notifications when I post because I will be posting every Saturday Saturday I'll post it every Saturday so I hope you tune in and I hope you really like this video and honestly give me your honest opinion on it if you already watched Riverdale let me know like what's up tell me that like, I need to pay more attention to it or what if I'm missing something that you think is really great just look, give your comments down below you know like let me know let me know that you're here and you're watching